Coming up on today's episode of SHS News, it's Super Bowl weekend and Ryan Cohen asks SHS students and teachers about their thoughts on the upcoming Super Bowl. We continue to explore some of the SHS electives available next year. Jason Cespedes and Harry Tricker take a look at the ceramics program with Ms. S and the new fashion design class with Ms. Noble. We'll bring you to these stories and more, plus the weather. Good morning, Summit High School. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now, here are your morning announcements. Good morning, Hilltoppers. Today is Friday, February 10th, and welcome back to SHS News. I'm Carolina Farinato. And I'm Kate Cooper. Topping our report today, the cafeteria will now be open after school until 3.30, so stop by if you want to grab a snack and get some work done. Next week is Spirit Week. Make sure you pay attention to the video board around the school so you can figure out what you're supposed to wear on each day of the week. Next Tuesday is Valentine's Day, so treat your sweet to some sweets. There will be a bake sale during lunch in the cafeteria, so make sure to grab some chocolate lollipops and more. For any girls interested in joining the girls lacrosse team, there will be a pre-season information meeting in the weight room next Thursday during first lunch. The Super Bowl Sunday, senior reporter Ryan Cohen asked SHS students what they think is going to happen in the big game. And what grade are you in? Uh, Anthony Asatelli, 12th grade. Jack Holmes, senior. Uh, Ethan Weir, I'm in 12th grade. My name is Edwin Martinez, and I'm in 10th grade. All right, I'm here with Chonger and Messi. Uh, who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? Um, we think that the Eagles are going to win the Super Bowl. E Eagles, Eagles, yeah. Who do you have winning the Super Bowl? Kansas City Chiefs. And why do you why are you picking them to win the Super Bowl? Um, because um, Philadelphia sucks. Uh, no one likes them. Uh, who do you have winning the Super Bowl? Eagles by probably 30. By 30? That's a that's a. 17. Uh, where are you from originally? Uh, England. England. Do you know a lot about American football? Uh, I know nothing about American football. Do you know who's in the Super Bowl? No. All right. What's the better city, Philadelphia or Kansas City? Philadelphia. Who do you think is gonna win the so Super Bowl? Uh, I think the Eagles. Who do you think is gonna win Super Bowl MVP? Uh, uh, my boy, uh, A.J. Brown. A.J. Brown, the Batman. Who do you think is going to win Super Bowl MVP? Um, probably like Eli Manning or something. Yeah, Eli Manning, for real. So, Patrick Mahomes, Super Bowl MVP? Yep, you hear that, Jack Holmes? You're going to lose. You're not winning. How do you feel that Anthony Asatelli called you out? I mean, if you get a chance, just look at him. He doesn't have a good haircut. I mean, I don't know what else to say. And now it's time for SHS weather update with John Johnson. How's it looking out there, John? Thanks, Carolina. Today it's looking pretty nice outside. It's cloudy, the high of 52 and a low of 738. But the real problem, oh, the real problem is the stank. I mean, someone's out here doing something to make this place stink like a garbage dump. I mean, I can't tell you how much stank there is. You just got to be out here to experience it. We better find out who this culprit is and find him out fast. Back to you in the studio, Carolina. That's all for the weather. Tune in next week for more in-depth meteorological analysis. Once again, this week, we sent SHS News reporters out to give you some insight on possible electives that you can take next year. This week, we're featuring the ceramics program and fashion design. I'm here with Ms. S to talk about the sculpture and ceramics classes. Ms. S, why should people take sculpture and ceramics classes? Well, I think that sculpture and ceramics classes are a really great way for you to get involved into the arts without really needing to be quote unquote artistic. A lot of people walk into like a drawing class and they're like, oh, I can't draw. But with ceramics and sculpture, you really get a sense for creating something and, and tapping into that creativity when you don't feel like you're a quote unquote artist. What should students expect when taking sculpture and ceramics classes? 
besides getting dirty, you're going to leave here with clay dust on you and clay on you at some point. But they're really going to learn about just how to deal with frustration and being able to give themselves room to fail. And by fail, I don't mean get like a failure grade, but to really learn how to handle things that break and handle things that blow up in the kiln and and how do you jump back from that it teaches a little bit of resilience thank you so much make sure to check out the sculpture and ceramics classes thank you i'm here with miss noble to talk about some of the electives for family science so um the first class that i teach is fashion design so in this class students get the chance to explore what it means to be a designer what it takes to create their own um, clothing items and kind of explore their own personal style so one of the first projects we do is like a personal style project they understand like what influences their style whether it's past decades or you know um, their favorite music artist um, then we talk a little bit about trends and how trends come about and then we get into some of the sewing projects so students will get to use the sewing machine to make um, pajama shorts, um, a tote bag, different embroidery techniques um, to really kind of explore all aspects of fashion. Um, another class I teach is interior design. So this is kind of thinking about um, residential spaces, you know, how can we design a home, what kind of colors, patterns, textures, and then also commercial design. Students get to design um, their own uh, window displays, their own um, floor plans for a home. So kind of really getting to explore that creative aspect. So this class is nice because it's kind of hands-on, but also gives like a, a wide look at, you know, what is fashion fashion or interior design. Um, if a student is thinking about maybe a career or majoring in college, these classes are a good way to kind of practice and like dabble in the arts um, in a different way to kind of see like, yes, I like to be creative maybe like with painting, but how can I apply that to, you know, clothing or, or, or home design? So since these are creative classes, you know, I tell students like there's really no wrong way of creating something. Like if that's your vision or you like that as your aesthetic or you like these colors or these patterns, you know, you're the designer, you're in charge. As we move through the month of February, we'll bring more info about some of the new electives available next year, including some creative and interesting courses in media production. And that concludes this week's news. Once again, I'm Carolina Farinato. And I'm Kay Cooper. Thank you for watching and have a great weekend.